Hi guys, welcome to the next uh, home workout. I hope you're doing well today. Um, great weather again still. Um, I know we're all trapped inside. We're also looking out of some of the a bit of time to get out there and, and enjoy the sunshine. So please do if you can. Make the most of the good weather whilst, we're, whilst we've got it. Um, and obviously if you get the opportunity to go outside and and uh, take part in some exercise and, and keep safe out there, then please do so. Um, but make the most of the time that you get out there now. Um, today's session that we're going to focus on uh, is going to be your second lower strength session today. Um, how I'm going to plan it is, is I'm going to try and make a few progressions on exercises that we did last week. Um, any exercises that we can make a little bit harder or progress, then we're going to do so today. Um, and we're going to run exactly the same pattern with regards to um, first circuit round, me just sort of showing you the drill, giving you alternatives uh, for different ways that you can work out with this same exercise, how you can make it harder, how you can add resistance and load um, for the session. Obviously, we'll start off with a pre-activation. I'm going to give a few minutes to people to sort of just log on, uh, join us and get going. Um, give everyone a chance to, to sign up. Um, what me and Rich sort of uh, little look at, got some feedback from you guys, and, and again, we could appreciate that, is the, uh, is the timings. Um, we know that a lot of you are doing your school work during the days at the moment, which is obviously massively important. Uh, but what it might need is uh, just a little conversation between us and, and Rich and some of the other coaches just to sort of, uh, arrange which time is going to be best for you guys um, uh, and we'll get back to you on, on what works for everyone so at the end of the day yes you can be interacting with one another uh, and we're going to keep trying to make it more interactive as we go on um, i uh, possibly doing some sort of a zoom video conference uh, call that we can sort of get everybody involved for a, for a session uh, and we can watch you guys do it as well at the same time which would be uh, uh, very good for us and, and good for you guys to get involved with. Uh, if I run over very quickly some of the equipment that we're going to be using today, um, you need some sort of heavy object, whether it's um, a kettlebell, a dumbbell, or, you know, I did bring, I've loaded up my backpack as well. So we've got uh, bits in your backpack which you can put all your school books in and load that up. That's going to be absolutely fine if you want to use that today. Um, if you have had a chance uh, to, to go out and get some resistance bands, and obviously some of these resistance bands, whichever ones you've got available today, it's fantastic. We're gonna, I'm going to use that as part of, um, part of an exercise on a session, uh, part of an exercise in, in this session. Um, and But again, like I said, I'm going to provide alternatives so that if you don't have the, the kit and equipment, it's not a problem. We can still work out. We can, you can still get a little bit of work done uh, and, and, and feel a hit from it. Okay. But what we're going to do before we start and do, and do anything else is we're going to uh, warm up our, our lowers, uh, lower pre-activation today. So a lot of you can do some of the drills that you would like to uh, that you've got um, jotted down in your programs, not a problem. These are just a couple of extra ones that you've probably already got in your programs already. Um, and what we'll do is we will put that camera down a little bit just so you can see, and then we will make a start. Okay, so lower strength, pre-activation, going into the circuit and we'll run it exactly like we've been running it the past couple of days, okay? So all we're going to do first is a little bit of mobility work, is lift your knee all the way to that chest, pull it in nice and tight, head is relaxed. You want a further pull, a further stretch, further mobility, put your hand underneath your foot and pull it in nice and tighter. Hold for about eight, ten seconds roughly. Good. On that same leg, all you're going to do is you're going to push it out to the side. Okay, you're going to rest it on the top of your thigh. Okay, hand is going to be underneath the foot, underneath the ankle. You're going to pull it up nice and high, rest on the top, and then just slowly let this knee drop. Again, hold. Nice little bit of hip mobility work here. Good. 
Good, and finally, all you're gonna do is you're gonna try and get this knee as close to the opposite leg, okay? So it's gonna, without letting the hips come up, okay? So you, your range might only be to there, it might only be to there. So just get your range, come back up. Find your range, come back up. But make sure parents keep an eye on the, on the, on the hips. We don't want to be rolling over, okay? What you want to do, to the hips, back down. Okay, maybe do about 10 of them. Just get a bit of mobility in your, in your hips going. Relax the head. Good, and then what we're gonna do, same process, but all on the other side. So hand on knee, pull it in tight. Want a greater range, pull it right underneath and pull it in a little bit tighter. Good. Next one, hand under foot, as high as you can up the thigh. Okay, rest it on your top, top end of your thigh and just let that knee drop as low as it possibly can go. Good, and finally, foot position slightly out. Let that, hip, that knee drop, 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 and prevent those hips riding up and back up. Ten in total. Okay, sticking with the hips. We're going hips down today. Side, rotate to the side. Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate it right here so you can see what my feet are doing. From here, out to the side, in. Out to the side, in. In. Okay, you're keeping those hips nice and fixed, and you're just looking at how much range of motion you've got there. Okay, so it's the turn and back in. Turn, back in. Maybe do sort of eight to 10 each side. Fixed position, nice and stable. And you're just working on the range in those hip flexors. You think about how much you're kicking in the water, whatever stroke you're doing, breaststroke, front stroke, back stroke, uh, butterfly slightly different, uh, but you're still, there's a lot of hip action there, okay? A lot of work being done. So this is a great period of time now that we're going through that we can just recharge all those batteries, get all those movements going again, get all the functional movements going again. It's going to really help you sort of improve the movement in those areas that are key for you guys as swimmers. Okay, what we're going to do now is hopefully you've done 10 each side of them. Okay, what we're going to go now is into a reverse Nordic. So all I want you to do is on your knees, upright, okay, and then all we're going to do is keep in a nice straight line from shoulders down to the knees, Lean back towards your heels, come back up. Okay, I'm gonna demonstrate it from here so you can see. Hips are forward, so don't leave them sagging back. Hips are forward, straight line, all the way down. Come all the way back. All the way back up. You're gonna feel it in your quads. You're gonna feel a little bit of tension in your quads. A little bit of tension in your core, trying to stabilize yourself. You're just gonna rock back and forward. Don't go too far back. I'm really looking for an activation, not looking for a strengthening drill. Probably about eight max on these. Nice. Good. Okay. So all we're going to do now is if... You've got a band, which I know a few of you have got these bands at home. Um, then it, the band is going to go around your ankle. Do not worry if you don't have a band. It's, it's, it's absolutely fine. Okay. You can do all this exercise without a band as well. All the, 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 the resistance band does is add that tension onto it. Okay. So it's going to make it ever so slightly harder. All I want you to do is work up and down your front room. Get into a quarter squat. Okay. Front leg leads. Keep the tension on the back. 
Walk it out, walk it in. You can do this without a band, not a problem. Good, there and back once is absolutely fine because then you're gonna spin it round. Again, you're gonna go into a quarter squat and then I want you to do some skates. We're going out and in. Working on activating those glutes. Get that heart rate going, get the, the muscles fired up. And the last one you're gonna do is you're gonna flip it round. Okay, you can use uh, some sort of fixed surface um, just to stabilize yourself. And again, you can do this without a band. You don't have to do this with a band. The band adds resistance. You're gonna go back. If you haven't got a band, not a problem. All you're gonna do is you're gonna go up to a certain point and back down. Feel your glute activating, back down. If you've got that band on, the band is gonna make it a hell of a lot harder for you to get to that top range. So that's, that's a good thing because you're asking your glute to work a little bit harder. Okay, tear eight on one side, eight on the other, okay? So just use something to stabilize yourself. Kick back if you've got a band to a certain range. If you haven't got a band, not a problem. Get to that end range point, exactly the same. Kick back, come back down. You're still getting activation. You're just increasing the range. Good. Next one, back on your mats on your floor, weather surface training on, have the sunshine. Done this one loads of times. We're gonna start off with some straight leg cummies. So raise them up, keep that leg nice and straight. Limited flexion in the knee. You wanna feel this in the hamstring, not just swinging a leg. I know a lot of you guys have got great hamstring flexibility, so I know this is not an issue for many of you. Eight to 10, your number guys, you choose. And then all we're gonna finish off on is going for some hamstring walkouts. Okay, so you're gonna push into a bridge, take some baby little steps out, and then all the way back in, one big step back in. Lift those glutes again, re, uh, reset yourself, baby steps out, big step in. Okay, eight of those in total. If you haven't grabbed one already, uh, and we're gonna make a start the session. Okay, so I'm gonna keep the same principle as last time. Uh, the first six exercises, I'm just gonna go, for, you know, we don't just do exercises for the sake of doing them. I like to think that you guys should understand why you're doing them, how it's gonna benefit you guys in the pool. Um, so I've got six exercises and I'm gonna try and progress them on from last week, okay? So the first one is gonna be, that's absolutely fine to continue. Not a problem if you would like to do that again. Um, but what I'm gonna suggest is we progress this a little bit more and make it harder for a few of you. So you can still put the band on to get that tension to stop these knees doing this and keep them more strong, okay? so. If you want to put the band on now, absolutely fine. And then what I'm going to recommend is we go with something of a certain weight, whether it's a kettlebell, a dumbbell in exactly the same position, or even if you've, you're sticking a load of books in a bag and you can put your backpack on the front or you can put it on the back, whatever's, whatever's more comfortable. I'd probably say the front for the sake of this exercise, which is what we're going to be demonstrating now, which is going to be a goblet squat, okay? So I've kept the band on for a bit more resistance. I've got my weighted object 
in my uh, in front of my chest. And all we're going to do is exactly the same concept of 12 to 15 reps, but this time there's the added load. Okay, down, up, exactly the same. All the coaching points I've been told you, uh, telling you before, focus on them, chest up nice and high. Can you get your depth to below 90? Head up, looking forward all the time. Down and up, okay. So hopefully you're doing these right now. Uh, and you're going to do 15 in total of them. Um, like I said, if you've got a TheraBand to put on and you want to make it even harder, add the weight. If this was hard enough for you, not a problem. Stick with that. It's, it's, everyone's individualized, remember. You've all got your individualized programs, which we were able to do. So make it individualized for you. If you want to make it harder for yourself, please do. I know there's certain individuals in the group that will want to do that. So that's three sets in total. So this is your first one or 15. On the lunge that we did the other uh, last week. And the only thing that we're gonna uh, progress on this one, last last week, obviously we, we were just in a normal split. Okay, doing a lunge, fantastic, not a point, uh, not a problem. What we're gonna do before we add on weight to this drill is I'm gonna challenge you by getting it ready. So if you've got a foot, a box, a sofa, a chair, something that you can support your back leg on, a cushion on there for comfort. And then if you've got something to support, use it. I mean, it's completely up to you. Make sure your parents are up putting fingerprints all up and down the wall. Um, and then we're going to be in this fixed position here. And then all we're going to do, no weight, no resistance. Down and up. Ten each side. The challenge, obviously, being the foot off the ground, un unstable, but doing it, putting a lot of reliance on this front foot. Okay, can we stabilize ourselves? Try not to move the chair. Good. Once you've done ten on one side, you go for a straight swap over. Back. Good. So that back foot can just rest in any sort of comfortable position that feels comfortable for you. You're doing it at home. I don't know what sort of equipment you've got that you're going to be using. So however it's comfortable, all your challenge there is, is can you keep yourself, again, hips dropping down and not forward. So I don't see mid. And obviously the added challenge is you've got one foot elevated off the ground. Okay, so this next one. You might not be able to see me doing it here on my stairwell, um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a demonstration on this chair, just so that you guys know what it is that you're going to be doing. You don't have to have a weight for this, but at the same time, if you would like to put a weight in your hand for it, not a problem. Um, you know, whatever you're going to whatever you're going to use. This next one is going to, going to be a step up. I'm going to put this by the door in case I absolutely stack it. And a step up, hopefully I don't hit my head on the ceiling. It's going to look a little bit like this. And back down. Now again, check what equipment you're standing on. Because I know for a fact that I wouldn't be able to do a, a full set of reps on, uh, on that chair because I would eventually go through it. <laughs> that is why I'm going to use a, uh, my staircase. It's exactly the same concept you might maybe do depending on your size and your stature. You might use the first step, you might use the second or the third step. Uh, obviously, the, the bigger the step, the more glute you're going to hit because it's a greater range for you to sort of work in. So I'm going to be doing mine on the, on the staircase with two dumbbells. Uh, and you're going to work 10 each side, so it's 20 steps in total. So you might be able to see me coming off and on, but I'm taking a step up, step down. When you've stepped up, so imagine I've stepped up for you now, this is our finished position. Stepping back down, I'm stepping up. That's my finished position. And that's what you're gonna be doing on the stairs or whatever's your, your stable surface. So hopefully you've, you've done one side already and you're working onto the other side now and you're doing 10 inside so. And 
That was my turn, just in case I don't want to be caught off and being caught behind you guys working hard. Okay. So the next one, so that was exercise number three. And now we're going to go on to exercise uh, number four. Okay, don't worry about this for now. So exercise number four is going to be a single leg bridge. Now what you can do to progress this and make this harder this week, obviously we did a double and a single leg variation last week. Again, and I said about putting bands and dumbbells um, on, on top of your hips. So however you want to do it, so I'm going to put two dumbbells across my hips. I'm going to go into my single leg position, so my, my heels in the ground, my toes in the sky. Exactly the same concept. Driving up and down, eight each leg. And then swap round. As easy as that. I didn't explain that too much because we've done that enough before to know exactly what we're looking for in a bridge. Straight line, shoulders to, uh, to knees. Drive your hips up as high as you can and don't let the glutes touch the floor. Keep those glutes nice and active the whole time. We've gone on to single leg this week only and added some weighted resistance. If single leg resistance is, is, is hard, have not got a problem whatsoever by you going into a double leg bridge and getting some weight on that. Not a problem, okay? If you want the, the progression, do it this way as well, okay? So that was eight each side. Hopefully you guys uh, have done that now. Now this next one, I've seen a couple of your clips at home, so I've seen that people are starting to get equipment, which is brilliant. Now for this next one, you don't have to have a band. Um, what you do need to have is, is, is your head, whatever it is. The only reason I've added the band, like cool band work, is, is to add a further resistance. Okay, so I'm going to do the movement first without the band. So you guys know exactly what it is that we're doing. Flexible lifting your hamstrings, come all the way down, all the way back up. Okay, hips go back. Back up, I'm going to come side on for you guys. Down, down, and down. I'm keeping that weight nicely close to my legs. So don't have that weight out there going down. It's going to hurt your back for starters. Okay, nice and tight. Draw it down your leg. Come back up. Okay, so if you've got a weighted jump deck, fantastic, use that. If not, you might have loaded up your, your, your school bag, exactly the same concepts, you know, coming all the way down, feel that hamstring activating, and come back up, drawing it nicely close to your stomach. So, got the weighted object, fantastic. If not, use an alternative, uh, and that one you're going to work for 12 to 15 reps in total. Okay. I'll give you a couple of seconds just to finish off that, that, that one, and then we've got the last one to show you. So I'm going to show a couple of different variations for this one. Um, because there's a number of different ways you can do it. Okay. Uh, now, I've got pair of bands trapped under the door for this one. So I'm going to show you version one of this kick thrust. Um, and then I'm going to show you different variations of how we can do this exercise. So if you, you, you've got the equipment to do so, and you've got a door stop in place and you've got your bands attached to it, then what I want you to do is pull a bit of tension on it and sit down uh, onto your knees. And all you're going to do is keep that tension on the cord. Okay, so hips are going to come back you're gonna explode and drive forward, okay? Hips are gonna go back, drive forward, okay? I'm gonna try and do it side on without the bands for you, just so imagine I've got some bands here, okay? So your hips are going back, explode forward, okay? At what point do you guys ex ex triple extend and explode? Right at the very start of a race, when you're pushing off the wall, 
you, ex you triple extend and explode, okay? So this concept here, from there to there, is about power, is about explosion, okay? So if we can develop the strength there in that movement, when we go on to a bit more power-based drills, where that, that reaction needs to be really quick, obviously off the blocks, you guys know this, um, then we can do so, okay? So if you've got that set up, fantastic. If you haven't got a door stop, okay? That's not the end of the world. But you've got a TheraBand, okay? So you can just put it round some sort of surface, um, like a, I could use this door handle, for example. So I'm gonna use this door handle. And then what you can do, hopefully I don't break it. Again, check with your parents that it's safe to do so before you, before you start. And then you're gonna do exactly the same concept. So you're gonna pull tension on that band, okay? I'm gonna dip, 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 dip. I'm gonna feel some activation in my hammies. Then I'm gonna drive forward, okay? You're getting your hip working. You're coming back, driving forward, okay? There's a second variation of how you can do this exercise. One more if you want to make it a little bit harder, okay? So some of you, and hopefully didn't do the, the double leg bridge, but we can do a variation of a double leg bridge which hits that same concept, okay? So all you're going to do is with your band, is you're going to put some tension on the ground of the band, just hold it in place, and all you're going to do is drive up as quickly as you can. Use the band as a resistance, drive up as quickly as you can, Forcing your hips to come up. Now the band may come off the ground or your, your hands may not be to keep it on, but the whole, the whole concept of this exercise is to get that, that movement snapping so we can start getting you, when we go on to doing your program, you know, in the future and, and you, we hit power aspects of it, that's one of the movements you need to be able to be explosive in uh, during, your, during your competitions and, and, and so three variations then I'm going to try and give all three options or as many options as I can when we're doing these drills. So you guys have got options to do bits at home. Please have a drink now. And we're about to start the circuit in one minute. Okay. In one minute I'll start. So if you need to have a, a quick drink, fuel up and we're gonna hit this circuit. It's a 12 minute circuit roughly. Okay, so I'm getting ready for my first, which is going to be a squat. Again, therabands can go on from last week, and if you're happy with that, I'm happy with that. You want to make it harder, let's make it harder. Get your weighted object in there. Be generous. Give you an extra 15 seconds, just get yourself organized, and then we'll, we'll make a start. Hope we get plenty, plenty of people on this today. Okay. Okay, so 12 to 15, 15 if you can. Think about your coaching techniques, off you go. Our next one we're going into is the lunge, raise lunge. So get yourself into your fixed position. We're going to go for 10 each side. Three, two, one. Ten. Ten. I know today I'll give you twenty seconds. I know today I've mentioned about 
you know, using things like backpacks, whatever you guys are getting creative with, parents, send us in pictures. We want to see how creative you are with using different random objects for your uh, for your for your programs, for your workouts. Makes it a bit more creative. Your next one you're gonna go into is a step up. So however you're gonna do that, whichever part of the house you're gonna to run to do that, five seconds, and we're gonna go into a step up, which again is gonna be 10 each leg, okay? Off you go. Little coaching point to add on to that. Kids, you know you do this as you're driving. Don't leave it dangling. Raise that toe to the sky so it's a drive and it's in that fixed position there. Don't leave them dangling down. I know a few of you in the class love to do that. Okay, 10 more seconds off. Your variation of the single leg bridge with whatever load you want out there, or no load whatsoever, that's not a problem. Three, two, one, eight each side. Heel on the ground, toe up. Next one is your, your RDL variation, okay? So you've got your, your heavy item, your heavy objects, your dumbbell, your kettlebell. Brilliant. I've added a kettlebell, the hard, you know, a nice high resistance just to add on to that resistance when I'm pulling it up, okay? So three, two, one, slow down. Um, Snap. Fifteen. Do you how are you gonna do that hip thrust, whether it's on the floor and the knees, upright, or into that bridge position? It's completely up to you which one you do. Depends on your setup at home. But if you're doing it this way, underneath the uh, underneath the hips, just walk it forward and you need to get a bit of tension. Okay, once you've got that tension, that's your start position. Okay, you're going to do again 12 to 15 of these. So hips go back, drive, feel, squeeze the glutes. Circuit two complete for most of you guys. So I'm going to give you a minute off. Again, remember I said it in the last session, because these sessions are for you guys, um, minimal sort of exposure to you, not you sports to keep intensity really high. Even if the session is, you know, it's only 40 minutes of work and you're used to have a lot more than that, you keep the intensity nice and high, you can get nice similar outputs and, and good feelings from doing the session. So you've got another 25 seconds after you heard me now away. 
So get a drink, get yourself set up, get yourself ready for the next one. And by all means, after this, do another one, do another circuit. If the first one was getting used to it, you know, please do another one. And please revisit these videos if you ever want to do extra sessions, you know, come and speak to me or Rick about that. It's not a problem, okay? And off we go. Okay, 12 to 15, get your tension, get your, your weighted objects. Fifteen, like we've been doing. So, have a little think. What's your next one? It's going to be a, a raised lunge, or whatever your positioning is for it. Whatever your setup's like. Got ten seconds. Three, two, one. Ten each leg. Ten. Make yourself comfortable. Ten. Good. Twenty seconds off. If you're like me, you should be getting a little bit sweaty now, working hard. Like I said, if you can do the session, you're watching this later on or you're redoing this and you want to do it outside, take it outside, brilliant, as long as it's safe to do so. Okay, next one is your step up. Okay, so grab your weight, you've got five seconds. Can you go a higher step? Three, two, one, off you go. Twenty seconds off. You're going into your RDL variation, okay? So, whatever one you did, weighted, theraband, no theraband, however you want to do it. And I'll do it this way so you can see the movement, see the range. Same concept. Hip width apart. Get a bit of tension. It's 12 to 15 in total. So. Fifteen. Sorry, I actually skipped on there. I do apologise. We're going to do uh, your, your bridge. And apologise, we're going to go back one, which is the single leg bridge. Hopefully all of you are doing a single leg bridge. Add a load, add a resistance if you would like. Starting in. Three, two, one. Single leg. Eight and eight. Ten. 
Allez. And that's it. Final rest period, 20 seconds. You guys should be working at a lot higher intensity than me. You guys are the athletes. Okay, when you're ready, into whatever hip thrust exercise you have chosen. Okay, get some tension, get to your start position, 12 to 15. Guys, two circuits done from me there. Three in total if you if you if you were able to work through the start as well. Please do one more. Um, thank you very much for for, for for tuning into this session and, and uh, taking part. Hopefully everyone can get on board and start keep watching more later on at later dates. Uh, and we'll, we'll be in touch with you guys about the for the rest of the week and the plans to go up on any sort of social media platform. So thank you very much, guys. And have a lovely day.